Hello everyone, Amanda here from ScreenPinMummy.co.uk Today we're going to make this pretty gift box Absolutely beautiful colours We have got Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green in there And the lid is hand stamped, it's not DSP um, And it's a beautiful, beautiful snug fit if you can see all the way around And um, it's absolutely lovely um, So I'm going to collect all of the things together that we need And... Uh, and we'll get we'll get started. Okay, so we've got two pieces of cardstock. We have got Coastal Cabana and Whisper White. Now with these measurements, you can create two of these boxes from a sheet of 12 by 12, so it's quite good. I'll leave all of the measurements and all of the scoring over on my blog at scrimpymommy.co.uk if you lose track. So the larger piece here is the base and this measures seven by six inches. Uh, and this is the lid and this measures five and seven eighths by four and three quarters. Now we're going to stamp our lid and we're going to use Coastal Cabana and I'm using one of the lovely flowers from the Forever Lovely set. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I purchased it. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. So the trick with this stamp set is to not put too much ink on um, less is more kind of thing so be gentle so I'm going to stamp a fairly random sort of pattern just turning my stamp each time and you're meant to get an effect that looks like it's been watercolored so it's meant to look you know darker and paler and a little bit almost smudgy that is what the stamp is meant to look like um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful effect. I love it. So I've gone fairly random, but not uh, I've not done too much too random. And we'll just do the corners there. And I think I'll just do one there as well. Okay, so that's our coastal cabana. We can just shut that for a moment. And then I'm switching to granny apple green. And I'm using one of the small leaves from the same stamp set. It's just here. It's a lovely little leaf. And these are great for um, little fillers for things like this. So I'm just going to dot this about. Again, just changing direction of the stamp as I go. Uh, that one straight up. I'm filling in those spaces with just a little bit of this. Oops, I stamped a bit there, never mind. Uh, and that. Uh, which way? That way. <laughs> I'm not terribly good at this random. My brain wants to do it uniform. <laughs> but I think I'm, I, I, I kind of do uniform random. We've got kind of a pattern going on there um, still. But it's pretty. Okay, so I can close that up. Um, I'm just going to leave that to dry a moment. Got a bit of ink there, I've smudged ever so tiny little amount, but it doesn't matter. So I leave that to dry a moment and I'll work on my base. So if I fetch in my scoreboard, okay, we want to score this large piece and we want to score it on all four sides at one and a half inches. Okay. So one and a half on all four sides. Okay. And now my lid should, the ink on there should be dry. And we want to score this one at seven eighths of an inch. So if you're not too sure, it's the, it's the little line before you get to one. So it's that one there. Okay. So that's seven eighths of an inch, and we want the same on all four sides. Okay, that's all of our scoring done. So now we can fold and burnish. So flip it over. And then fold your score lines and burnish. Okay. 
and you can use this same pattern if you want on a card you could make a set of cards to go inside I think this box measures about three by four let's have a look yeah three by yeah it's going to measure about three by four when it's done by one and a half okay so what I'm going to do now is on the inside here I'm going to cut up um, the little square here I'm going to cut up but I'm going to cut up at the left of the score line very very close to it but not on it and then I'm going to notch that okay like so and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the, the other one and I'm going to do it the same cut up and then notch and then I'm turning Cut up, oops, cut it straight, that help, and notch. Turn, cut up, and notch. Okay, so we've got these flaps, and they're all in different directions, like a like a star shape. So they will fold. That one will fold on there. That one will fold on there. That one will fold on there, and that one will fold on there. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use tear tape, and I'm adding a small piece close to the fold, and then a small piece right on the end. Okay, and I do that on all of them. But I'm going to um, pause the camera and do that. So whilst I do that, I'm going to, I've scored on this side, so turn it over. This is our base. And we're going to cut that exactly the same. So we're going up the scar line, but we're going to the left side of the bump. So then we'll end up cutting all of that bump away when we very gently notch it. Okay, like so. All right, and then turn and do the same. I'll just zoom out a right little bit. And notch. Turn. And turn and notch. Okay, so then again you've got that kind of star shape going on. So that flap folds up, that one does, that one does, and that one does. Okay, and then I'm going to add adhesive to all of these. And then I'll take all the tape off and then I shall be back. Okay, so we're back. So I've added the adhesive and I've removed... All of them, I, I just leave the last one so you can see where I've put the adhesive, top and bottom there of the flaps. Um, you can use wet glue, you can use a tape runner, you can use what you want. And then obviously you just line that edge onto that flap there so that the sides are flush. I work your way around the box and just do it on all four sides. Okay. And there we go. And then, obviously, I've already done my lid as well. So now we're going to do the decorations of the lid. So let me show you what I have made. So first of all, I have, let me just zoom in so you can see it. I've cut this die cut from the Stitched Labels Framelits. And it's this one. And so I've cut it out in Whisper White. I've glued it onto some Coastal Cabana. And then I've trimmed around it with my Stamping snips. So we're going to stamp it and I'm stamping in Coastal Cabana and this sentiment says best wishes and it is from the uh, stitch. Uh, it's from the stamp set that goes with this whose name has escaped me. I will put it over on my blog. I can't remember what it's called and it's not on my desk. <laughs> I always leave all of the information over on my blog because I do get mind blank when I'm filming. I just can't remember. Um, right, so I'm just stamping that centrally, like so. 
Okay. Uh, I've over stamped there ever so tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one I made earlier just in case this happened. <laughs> so here we are. So I've just smudged and I've done that because I've pressed on too hard. So I've mounted this on dimensionals and then I've just added a little pearl there. So this slides on our box absolutely beautifully. Or it should do. <laughs> Always makes me out to be a fibber, doesn't it? Come on, get on. There we go. Fits on perfect, like a lovely, beautiful fit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my bow, which I did make off camera. Please don't ask me to make these while I'm filming because I kind of like, I use one of these small bow makers, okay, and I just go for it and I hope for the best. And whatever happens, happens. There's loads and loads of videos on YouTube. It's a triple bow um, and I, I'm just, I can't do them <laughs> when I'm filming because I'll just make a mess of it. So I'm adding glue dots here. Now I would actually prefer to get my hot glue gun out but it's actually not working at the moment. I need to go and buy a new one. So I'm adding my glue dots to there and I'm going to add that on the corner of my box like so. Beautiful triple bow. It looks really luxurious and you can see the the double side of the um, because the ribbon is is two sided. You've got coastal cabana on one side and and granny apple green on the other side. So then that lid will fit on that. It should go on absolutely beautifully. It's a perfect fit. It won't fall off, so it doesn't need any further attachments. And there you go, a beautiful, beautiful gift box. I hope you'll give it a try. I absolutely love this colour. Um, and I can say it now without singing. <laughs> All of the details will be over on my blog. And if you'd like to purchase any of the items that I've used today, that you can find a direct shop link in my description box below and over on my blog. Um, uh, so there you go. Give it a try. See you soon. Bye.